Come on over. <laughs> Hi, girls. This is my horse. Uh, Hi. Hi, horse. <laughs> I use them to meet girls. <laughs> All right. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you are from. Hi, my name is Prilly. I'm from Indonesia. Indonesia? Yes, Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Kanita, I'm from Indonesia. Ah, Prilly and Kanita from Indonesia, hey. <laughs> so, uh, ladies, let me see what if I've got... Is this your flag? Yes. 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 Well, there you are, then. I take that back with you. Uh, <laughs> Do you know if you have it this way, it's Poland. Yeah. <laughs> it's Monaco as well. It, Monaco as well? <laughs> well, I think that speaks volumes for the school system in Indonesia, doesn't it? <laughs> Ladies, what are you doing in California? Are you on vacation? Uh, I actually study here. I live here now. <laughs> <laughs> but I was... You! <laughs> Fine, okay. <laughs> What are you studying? I study graphic design. Graphic design? Great! <laughs> Where do you study at? USC? No. I'm UCLA? No. Where? Art Center in Pasadena. The big one! <laughs> yeah. And are you visiting or are you staying here too? I'm visiting. Oh, I see. You guys friends from Indonesia? Yeah. yeah. We're high yeah. school friends. High school friends? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you still live in Indonesia? Yeah. What do you do there? Um, I'm working with my dad. Working with your dad? Is he a spy? <laughs> no. My you sister just, studies here. Your sister studies here. Well, it's good news <laughs> for us all. <laughs> anyway, good news. We're sending you to a, a restaurant. I hope not an Indonesian restaurant. <laughs> sure. 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 Oh, that's, the, that's the one owned by Lisa Vanderpump, <laughs> who, whose name is n sounds nothing like a penis enlargement device. <laughs> I promised myself I wasn't going to say that tonight. She's, she's on the show tonight. Don't, she probably won't see this. Don't mention that if you meet her in Indonesia. Or at the restaurant where you're going, which is a very good restaurant, isn't it? It's, uh, it's, um, it's cuisine. <laughs> Girls are adorable, aren't they? Well... I'm still creepy. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. studio audience, it sounded like a regular late night show, didn't it? Really good, really it did. good. It sounded like people really gave a rat's ass who was coming out. Come on, give me a 10, you guys, come yeah, did on. Did you hear the warm-up comedian? Unbelievable. I had the warm-up comedian tonight before I came out. We call him a comedian, of course he's not really, but uh, <laughs> he was like, Aah! he was trying to get the audience G'd up, and he said, did you hear him? He said, yeah. let's pull it out of each other. <laughs> I've been like, do, do not do that. Don't put it back into each other. <laughs> <laughs> I 
He's being safe. He's being safe. He's playing. That doesn't, yeah. that doesn't sound safe at all. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Pulling it out of each other? <laughs> Gonna end up with more audience. Yeah, no, I, no. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. It is. But, but, not such a great day for Russia. Over at the Olympics, the Russian's men's hockey team was knocked out by Finland. Well, hey, steady on, don't be mean. <laughs> Vladimir Putin was said to be furious. He was yelling, waving a sword around, threatening to send people to Siberia. Then the game started, so I don't know what's going on now. You see what I did? Yeah, no, it's good, yeah. Very was good. It, I don't know if it was good. Let's pull it out of each other, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a, a story that I love. There's a 101-year-old man is running for Congress. That, uh, good for him, I say. Uh, now, where do you think that is? Come on, what state? You know what state? <laughs> Florida, of course. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a member of the Tea Party. The Boston Tea Party. <laughs> but he's got, a <laughs> he's got a great slogan. Time to change me. <laughs> Any more uh, old people Doesn't hate you want to throw? No, that's good, that's good. All right, you should anyway. leave them alone. Leave them alone. Hey, it was a great day for Vienna, Austria. The, the new survey has named Vienna the world's best city. Look at that headline. There you are. It's in that thing, so you know it's true. Anyway, the... Uh, <laughs> something I never heard of. But residents of Vienna were overjoyed. And by overjoyed, I mean one middle-aged guy was walking around saying, I'm so excited I want to touch my neighbors. <laughs> And then he found out about Vienna being yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vienna came out on top of the survey because it was number one in three important categories. Uh, public transportation, clean air, and uh, quantity of teeny tiny sausages. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another great thing about v Vienna is it's centrally located to the rest of Europe. Do you have a map of Europe by any chance? Yeah, there's Vienna right in the middle there. Then you see all the other places around. So around the Rangers, Hadlerporn, Richland, Dracula's house. Uh, my particular favourite is Bulge Area. Yeah, I like right? that. Yeah, <laughs> Bulge Area. See Bulge Area down there and right, yeah. I'd love to see Bulge Area, would you? Oh, I, I've seen one or two in my okay, day. Okay, yeah. uh, I've actually been to Vienna. It's great, but you know what shocked me the most? Uh, I was in my hotel room, and the, you, you don't have to pay for the porn. It just comes on the TV. You, it's true. You're, I was flipping through the channels, and it was like, you know, it was when Larry King was still on CNN, so it was like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> And then I flipped past Larry, and then it was, nah, nah, but a completely different, nah, nah. And I was like, what? It just comes on. It just comes on. Yeah, it just comes on. Yeah. I was so excited. I wanted to tweak my new probes. <laughs> it's just right there. Yeah, teeny tiny sausages. Yeah, it's all there. <laughs> Not so much. Sorry. Anyway, uh, and I went to the Vienna Opera House, which is beautiful. And right before the showtime, they give away tickets that rich people have paid for, but they have never picked up, so you can get them for like 20 bucks. And I've got amazing seats right in the front row, so the opera singers, you can see their cleavages and everything. It's... <laughs> the women, too, you can see their... <laughs> no, they could see me throwing the goat. I was like, oh! And they were like, oh! The production I saw was Verdi's Macbeth. Craig, isn't it bad luck to say Macbeth in a theater? Yes, it is, but this isn't a theater. It's a middle school gymnasium strung up with a few Christmas lights and a skeleton. That's all it is. That's true, that's very true. Are you half asleep tonight? No, man, I'm right here. All right, then. Anyway, the coolest thing I saw in Vienna was the Livazana or stallions, you know, the huge horses. You go, yeah, them, there they are. Now, oh, well, they do all these exotic trots. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, that's right, pal. Some horses have talent. <laughs> hey, hey! Not a real horse! <laughs> Let me, like, you come out and do some Lipizzan or River Dance horse in there. Good. I'm ashamed. <laughs> that would prove that we are not like any other late night show. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so excited, I want to tweak my nipples. <laughs> Get to a commercial break. All right, you're watching The Late Late Show. Hey, it's either this or curling. When I think of the Winter Olympics, I think of my favorite sport. Really? What is your favorite sport? Staring bleakly out into the snow, contemplating the endless desolation of life. <laughs> yeah, that never gets old. <laughs> Back to the show where tonight things are just going crazy, things right? Are out, of control, out of control. Why are they going crazy? What's the big reason tonight? Our big Indonesian spectacular. Indonesian spectacular. We have guests from all over Indonesia. <laughs> we got two girls who, well, one studying here, and our friend has come to visit. I got a place in Jakarta, though. I got a place in Jakarta. <laughs> what sort of a place? It's, it's a shack. I got a little shack. I don't think they have shacks in Jakarta. It's no, a modern I, city I, full I, of high-rise buildings. No, it is. It's such. a good city. Yeah, I know, but I have a shack. Well, where, uh, where is it? J what, what, part, what part of Jakarta is the it? The middle. The middle part of The middle Jakarta. part? Yeah. What, what, what's the name of the district? The, the middle district. I think you're making this up. No, man, that's all true. Don't you, you start lying no, no, you know on this show, enough, man. man. But on my case... No, don't you start oh, doing this. Oh, you want, I you want a piece of this? You want a piece of this? And that's another reason why we are not like any other late night show! Yeah! Yeah! That's right. <laughs> I don't know why everybody enjoys me saying that, but they seem they to. They get excited. They yes. love it. Yes. Anyway, uh, what time is it, Jeff? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from adult diapers. Time to change you. Did you just call me adult yeah, I diapers? Yeah, you adult diapers, yeah. Take the advice from adult today. diapers? Adult is that diaper, your name for right. me, yeah, adult diapers? Name. Yeah, that's right. Do you know about this? <laughs> when did you guys start calling me adult diapers? No, oh, just yesterday we came up with it. We can change it, man. Tiny sausages. We can call you tiny sausages. <laughs> All right. Do you want to play a jingle or you want to do a let's jingle? Let's play one, man. We'll, do, we'll play one. No, no, let's do one. All right, let's do one. Yeah, yeah, because whatever you want, I don't want. I don't want you to kiss me. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Come on. No. All right, here come the tweets and emails jingle. You ready? Yeah. Tweets and emails, yeah. Tweets and emails, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's, that's enough. It's going to be downhill that was from awesome. now on. This is from Sam in Atlanta, who says, uh, Craig, uh, dear Craig and Jeff, uh, I missed all last week's shows. Can you fill me in on the highlights? Yeah, uh, do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? That kind of thing. It's good. That, good. that kind of thing. Yeah, that's about it. And then, oh, hey, and then there was some, to there was some, uh, you know, what was the movie like? Oh, it was, everyone was friends with everyone else. Ah, oh, great. And what's Hollywood like? It's so great. Everyone's so great. And we all love each other. Ah, oh, it's great. And uh, do you, have you bought a new house? Yeah, I bought a new house. It's great. We all love each other. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, funny, funny stuff. Funny stuff. Great hey, monologue. knock Great it monologue. off! Funny stuff. I was just recapping. Oh, okay. Oh, I, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Great. The, the, you're the best. Top shelf. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're doing sidekicky stuff. All right. And, and did you do Ant last week? No. 
There you are. Um, all right, this is from Rose in St. Augustine, Florida. You ever been there? St. Augustine, good place. <laughs> Wasn't it St. Augustine that said that trying to understand the mind of God was like trying to pour the ocean into a cup? Right, right, that's right. <laughs> and that's another reason why we're not like yeah. any other late night show! So they get confused when you quote St. Augustine, but they like it when you yell. That's right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, dear Craig, I'm sometimes confused by your show. Can you please explain what's behind the big red curtain? Sure, it's Alfredo Sauce and the Shy Fellas, the greatest band in late night TV. Hey, guys. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Hey. <laughs> all right. Well, that, which leads me nicely on to the next one. It says, uh, this is from Susan in Frost Valley, New York. You ever been there? Sure, sure. Good place, Frost Valley. <laughs> Easy. Susan says, uh, Craig, what was Alfred? Susan's one of those names, you don't know if it's a man or a woman. Very confusing. Could both, yeah, both ways. Uh, she says, Dear Craig, Jeff and Secretary, what was Alfredo's last gig before he got the Late Late Show job? What was your last gig? I was uh, working at the. <laughs> Can he say that? Oh, he can't say that. Were you working at a fast food restaurant? Yes, I was working at an unnamed uh, fast food chain that sells pizza and has a rat for a mascot. He can't say that? Not only are you a racist, you're an idiot. Racist? You're a racist? Yeah, he is. Thank you, Alfredo. Racist. You're a racist. Secretariat? <laughs> and finally, Jeff? Racist. Racist. <laughs> This is from Fred in Alabama. Oh, not you again, Fred. <laughs> I've never, I'm, I'm just, it was a joke. I, uh, this is from Henry in Seattle. Oh, Henry, finally, you wrote to me. I'm so excited when I get a letter from my Henry in Seattle. You've been oh, waiting. Henry, will he write to me today, I think to myself. I wonder if he's enjoying the delights of Seattle, the rain, the... Uh, mason jars? The mason jars. <laughs> the spectacular work of the Boeing Aircraft Construction Company. The braided armpit hair. Okay, uh... Dear Craig, I like it when Miriam calls you on the phone. Do you two have a romantic past? No, we do not. I don't like Miriam and I don't like it when she calls me. Oh, no! Hello? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Hello? Had a little trouble with the phone there, sweetie. Ah, uh, Miriam, how lovely to hear from you. How are you, darling? I'm all right. I told you, you <laughs> old bitch, don't call me! Oh, I'll, I'll carve my initials in your forehead, pansy boy. So, Miriam, what have you been doing lately? Well, we're just hanging out, enjoying some teeny tiny sausages. <laughs> I'll bet you have, Miriam, just like the ones you enjoyed in Palm Springs. I'll find you. I'll watch you when you sleep. I'll find you, Miriam. And when I find you, I'll hug you. You embrace me like the woman I am, Craig. You know I deserve it. And watching your show for all these 10, 9, 10 years, 10 years. 9, 10 years, 9, 10 years. Um, Miriam, I, I, I've always meant to ask you this. Do you have a cat? Which one? How many cats do you have? 47. Really, Miriam? Maybe you better check. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that there with you? <laughs> hold on, I don't think I'm... Oh, yeah, hold on. Here, Miriam. Recognize this fur? <laughs> it's actually a, it's me. Yeah. Uh, wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I gotta go. Okay. I'm still here, sissy boy. Very violent, that boy. We were right back, everybody. We
My first guest tonight, very talented actor, movie star, really, I'd say. His latest film, The Wind Rises, is in theaters tomorrow. Take a look at this. <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levitt, everybody. Joseph Gordon Levitt. It's the weirdest thing. I didn't think they were that good a crowd, but they went crazy, you know, when uh, when you came out. As I did myself, I'm like, oh! <laughs> I do that all the time. I look in the mirror and I go, oh! <laughs> I do too, but for a completely different reason. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to wear a grey suit. I wore a grey suit. Oh, my God! Oh, right no! Oh, no, we should... <laughs> Rob. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like your tie. wearing a grey suit, too. Who, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know each other? Yeah, yeah, man. We hang out all the time. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that movie looks kind of weird. You don't look like you in it at all. Uh, you you kind of like wearing a lot of makeup in this thing, or what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're painted on frame by frame. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a movie that was in uh, a different language and then you put your language? That's exactly in... right. Well, is it really? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a Japanese movie. It's it looked by... a little Japanese. That's what I thought. Yeah. My a master named Miyazaki. Have you ever seen Princess Mononoke or Spirited Away? You bet I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> They're really great movies. Have you guys ever seen Princess Mononoke? Oh, they. Obviously. Yeah. And and I I have too. <laughs> In a show business. Well, the, I... Secretariat. <laughs> It's not a real horse, man. <laughs> so you, do you have to go in and then do, look at the lips of the characters, the way they're moving, and then try and fit your That's words That's exactly in? it. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds like actual work. Yeah, it's weird doing yeah, that. Yeah, no, yeah, no, you don't want to be doing that, not as an actor. It truly yeah. is a beautiful movie, though. Yeah, no, it looks very nice. What's it about? It's about, uh, it's, it's kind of wartime Japan, and it's right. about a guy that's designing airplanes, uh, but he just loves airplanes and kind of the art and the craft of it, and he's upset about the fact that his creations go off to war and ah. killing machines. And uh, so it's really nuanced and fascinating in that way. Are you into airplanes in some way? Is that the thing? Uh... As much as the next person, I why are you in, you into airplanes? I love airplanes. You love airplanes? I love oh, airplanes. Oh, then you're going to love this movie. Yeah, I, I'm going to love this movie. Yeah. I love airplanes and I love cartoons, so... What's so there you go. Yeah, I, no, is, is Scooby doing this? Because I love no, Scooby. Sorry. All right. But the, uh, yeah, I love airplanes because I love to fly. Do you, have you ever taken a flying lesson? No, I've never taken a flying you lesson. You would enjoy it. Someone was telling me backstage that you're a pilot. You fly. Yes, I, I can fly an airplane. I don't wow. know. Pilot's a big, a big, big man's word for what I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, uh, What's the difference? Well, pilots are kind of like confident and... Right. <laughs> good at it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, no, no. I'm all right. You know, I passed the test, so I must be all right. Uh -huh. So yeah. maybe I won't be flying with you in the nah, future. Nah, you'd be all right. I'd bring someone else up, you know, oh, qualified. Okay. okay. You ever been into, are you a good flyer? Are you a bad flyer or what? Like when I go on into Yeah, airplane? yeah, when you go on like an airliner. Yeah, I, I suppose. I mean, I, I don't think too much about it. I mean, I think... The, the, the thing I always think about is that it's actually more dangerous to drive a car than to fly in a plane. Well, especially if you drive it in the sky. <laughs> yes. Do you, do you play the odds like that a lot in your life? Like, do you go to Vegas and count cards, and, you know, which is against the law? I mean, that's against the law? Uh, I don't know, is it? I pay attention oh, to yeah. some of the statistics sometimes. Sure, I don't, I don't think that you can count everything in numbers, but yeah, when you find out that statistically you're safer being a passenger on a plane than yeah. just driving a car every day, that provides me some reassurance. Do you, do you drive? takes off. Do you drive a car? I do drive a car, yeah. It's one of them, it's one of them isn't it? <laughs> do you know what he's talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You know what I'm talking about. I've never understood a word he said. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's probably, you probably get one of them hybrids, haven't you? It's, it's actually a fully electric car. No way! Is it the, is it the Tesla? No, it's, oh. it's the less expensive. It's a Leaf, Nissan Leaf. I love the Teslas, but I yeah. don't really want to drive around a really expensive car. <laughs> well, that's not really what movie stars are meant to be like. Man. You're not really... And that's why I'm not like, like any other movie star!
You're very good at that. <laughs> very good. You scared me a little bit there. <laughs> Well, good for you, man. That's good. I yeah. like the fact that you do that. You find, find your own path. Do your own thing. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I'm just thanks, saying. Thanks, man. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever miss the TV show, Regular Cash? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that, show, that was a big show, man. I mean, you were, you were little at the time. I was, it was little. was a big show. I miss the TV show all the time. Yeah. I just saw a bunch of those folks recently because we had our... I don't know, it, it's not quite the 20-year reunion, but it's like leading up to the 20-year reunion. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Holy crackers. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, my. Yeah, we shot the pilot in 1995. <laughs> Are you okay? I came to America in 1995. Yeah. <laughs> well, through, you know, through Ellis Island, I uh, changed my name. Right. I was originally Joey Goldstein was my name. Uh, <laughs> Crossed America in a covered wagon. I see. That sounds really difficult for you. Not one of the new fancy ones. One of the it was the leaf. The the, the leaf. Covered. The all electric covered yeah, yeah, wagon. Yeah, the electric sure. covered wagon. Yeah. That's... Yeah. We gotta take a break. Okay then. From each other. I think we should see other people. I'll let my girlfriend know. <laughs> you you have a girlfriend? Oh, uh, let's take a break. <laughs> Thanks for touching my snake with your cup. <laughs> did you plan that out? You knew you were going to say And now, how would I, if you're the one that did the cheers first, you left the thing up and said you cheers. You were concocting the whole time. Then maybe someone will toast me with Wait. my snake cup, and then I'll tell them. Hey, what do you think I am, Mr. Burns or something? <laughs> you did that. Uh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> so, uh, are you in therapy yet? No. I think no. you should be in therapy. i got my pipe ready. Let's get you okay, going. Okay, let's do All it. All right, right. So... You were a very big uh, star as a child, and yet you have not developed the habits of a child actor. Yeah. Wait a minute, are we both Austrian in this? Why not? Yes, okay, so you are Austrian pretending to not be Austrian yeah. for... for money? Which... All I know how to say is yeah. Because this is impossible, you already said all I know how to say is. Yeah. Aha! <laughs> so you are from Austria? Yeah. You enjoy... You enjoy tiny little sausages? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you enjoy them? <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah, this is really giving me nowhere to go here. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun for a minute, though. Yeah, no, yeah. it was fine. And then, and then it was too much. I like your socks, man. Hey, thanks. Is that Creatures of the Sea? Yeah. 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 Oh, nice. and I wore some, uh, wait. The Irish or Scottish, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is that terrible? It's all right. No, I'm you know, one or the other. What are you, Amer Amer American or Canadian? <laughs> yeah, I can yeah, never remember. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. These, these, are, these are the four, the, uh, the clovers with the cat in the hat, which I wore for you. Oh, thank you. But I was you, probably right. wrong, because you're Scottish, aren't you? No, no, actually, my, uh, my family are Irish, but I grew up in Scotland. So, then it's not so bad that I didn't know. Hey, that's a great voice. <laughs> hey. now, what's that voice? Yeah, yeah, no, I like that voice. Yeah, nothing, don't yeah, worry so, No, I want to hear more of this. Hey, Crikey. I like this guy. <laughs> Did you just cuss on my show? Don't cuss on I my show. I heard you cuss on the show two oh, times since I've been on here. No, I didn't. Did I, did I cuss? You it, cussed on the phone with the lady. Yeah, it was an accident. <laughs> Plus, it was Miriam. I hate that. I can have it. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> hey. You take it. Let you, me I don't, I, I, I'm not entering. Otherwise. <laughs> oh. Hello? Hello, is this Joseph? Yeah. Hmm. Why don't you give this message to Craig? Well, this is for both of you. Why yeah. don't you go ahead and pull it out of each other? <laughs> Goodbye. I don't know, man. She <clears throat> said she's coming Click. over later. <laughs> That was me hanging up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Th thanks, Miriam. <laughs> Wait a minute, that wasn't a real phone call? Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Miriam's a ghost. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if ghosts were real. I'm glad you could confirm. Well, yeah, I can confirm ghosts are real. Good. You ever seen a ghost? No, I haven't seen a ghost. Well, they're real. Is that right? <laughs> sure. How do you know? Seen one. When? Can't tell you. Why not? Because it's my girlfriend. 
<laughs> you have a girlfriend. Just a girl living <laughs> Enchanting young woman, you can see her show at the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Mondays on Bravo. Take a look at this. <laughs> Lisa Vanderpump, everybody. Lisa Pub. You uh, look sensational. Chinese look at you. sausage, so nice to meet you. Yeah, oh, come on. I, listen, I'm so, so. Yeah, you've got to apologize to me for saying my name sounds like a penis enlargement <laughs> device. I mean, really, as if I haven't got enough problems. Well, I don't. I, you haven't got problems. Uh, did you see the for, show? Have you seen the well, show? Yeah, I've the, got problems. They're, they're gagging up on yes, you, old girls. You what think? the hell with those bitches? I What's know, going on? Right? <laughs> Is it because you're doing the Dancing with the Stars and you've got your own reality Don't show you're and you're kind of like the breakout, the breakout girl and they're all just like the other girls and you, you're like you the one in front? It. Stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Will that get you in trouble if I say yeah, that? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in deep trouble. Really? Why? Well, it's just a bit of a gang up, actually. It hasn't been that good a season. They've been a bit of bitches. <laughs> yeah. Were you friends anyway, with no, you? I just want to what? ask you about the penis enlargement device. Because, no, I just want to clear this up because, okay, my name sounds like that, but you're obviously the Familiar, expert, tiny, sausage. Yes. So, what does a penis enlargement device actually look like? Well. <laughs> I've never seen one up close. Have you got one on your desk? <laughs> no, I, I got a lot of stuff under there, but not a penis enlargement device. I should probably get one. I think so. Yeah. No, I was only because of the word pump. Is it a, it's a Dutch name, isn't it? Vanderpump? Yes. Right. It's oh, and another thing when I was in oh, Vienna. What? what? Another thing when I was in Vienna, there was no porn on, on the television when I was there. Well, you were staying in the wrong hotel, clearly. <laughs> no, maybe they changed it. <laughs> I was there, it was a long time ago, they've, they've really cleaned it up. No, uh, yeah, but it seems like there's a pattern, tiny sausage, you know, porn in Vienna. I mean, if there's something, maybe I should be giving you therapy, you know, because like... <laughs> it, no, you don't mind. Don't uh, I? Yeah. It takes a lot to put something... Hey, in now, hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Were you, uh, were you friendly with these girls before this show, or did you guys meet to do the show? Well, I mean, the kind of cast has changed um, each season. It's kind of shifted a bit. So the original cast I was kind of more friendly with. Right. But this season, it has been really tough, I have to say. And I never see it coming, because I've been so busy trying to do up my new restaurant that sounds like a penis enlargement. Really? What's it, what's it called? Pump. It's called Pump? Well, I'm actually going to change the name as I'm sitting here right no, now. No, yeah, yeah. no. It's, people will like it. People will be like, oh, yeah, that makes me feel... Well, it's actually going to yeah. be a gay restaurant. It's a gay restaurant? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I think you'll be fine. It's in yeah. Boys Town, and it's going to be a gay restaurant. And I'm not going to let any straight people in. I'm actually going to ask them on the door, you know, who they're sleeping with for it. Then. What if they're single gay people? Well, then, okay, maybe I'll give them a pass, yeah. I don't know. I think you'll run into some trouble with that kind of door <laughs> policy. I like trouble. Yes, I think you do. <laughs> hey, uh, did you ever have... Because uh, you, you're, you're from England. and yes. And, and your, your husband, Ken, also from, yes. from England. Did you ever have any restaurants in, over in London? Oh, yeah. I had loads of restaurants and bars um, in London, in Soho mainly. Yeah. I, I like... 26, in fact. Really? You must have been... Are you in the Mafia or something? <laughs> I think I need the Mafia on my side now. Oh, yeah, because of those ganging up on you. Yeah. Uh, it's because of the Dancing with the Stars. They're jealous. You think? Yeah, especially that drunk one with the arm bandage thing. <laughs> and which uh, she's she's and kind which of my one? favourite. I like she's like, I didn't even know where I was going. You know? <laughs> oh, Why God. am I always late for everything? Oh, God. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. They say enough crap about me. I'm not going to say it about them because I think it says more about them than it does about me. Well, good for you. <laughs> I'm taking a very high road on this one. Yeah, but by, by saying that, haven't you, you done it? You can say it. You can say it for me. Well, what would I'm you like, just what would not you like saying it. <laughs>
Oh, oh, I see. I can't possibly call them hoes, Lisa. That would be... I did not say that. That would be ridiculous. I That's not a not word I would that. use. No. So, well, good. I'm glad. And uh, we send a lot of people to Sur, your restaurant that's uh, it's, yeah. got, it's got cuisine. Yeah, you want your money back, right? <laughs> well, well do, I don't use any of my money for this, do I? <laughs> no, it's CBS no, money. They're yeah. very happy. Uh, yeah, no, it does really well. I mean, Vanderpump Rules, it, it's kind of taken it to a whole new level, you know, because... Do you get a lot of like... tourists coming in? Yeah, we do. It's ah. been, yeah. Mm, um, that's not kind of your thing, though, is it? You're kind of exclusive Beverly Hills. No, it's <laughs> West Hollywood. It's like, you know, a bit kind of hip out there, and it's a bit avant-garde, as you've seen with the show. I mean, kind of anything goes, pretty much. So you can come. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't go out, though. I'm a cranky loner. Are you very... You do go out because I saw you, Mr. Charles, and I sent my iPad over, and I said, you owe me an apology. <laughs> and I pulled the clip up, and we hadn't met, and I said, hey, you owe me a drink and an apology. And you didn't give me either. Uh, no. Well, Just first saying. of all, uh, help yourself to the free beverage next to you, and <laughs> I did offer to pay for your dinner, but your husband no, refused you my charity. No, you offered to like a takeout or no, something. No, you said I, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't offer to pay for your dinner, and your, your husband said, I'm too proud. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You said I could have some noodles to go or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's not what I, Holy mackerel. What I the deserve hell is it. that? I, I deserve that. Re I deserve one on every finger, yeah. That's really big. Yeah. Uh, that's how big is that? It's big enough. Well, I mean, they get smaller, but yeah, it'll do for now. <laughs> but you know, I've been married 32 years, so that's a long time. I think that I do deserve that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't I? Yeah, sure. I mean, but a lot of people are married for a long time with their fingers are as bare as <laughs> Mrs. Hubbard's cupboard on Christmas morning. <laughs> No, it's all good. I mean, it's incredible, really. I can't even believe it myself. I've been married for 30 years. I know. Years. Well, well done, I, I say. Know. The lovely Lisa Vanderpump, everybody. We'll be right back. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? You know what I'm doing here, Jeff, don't you? Yes, you're warming your privates by the fire. I am. And now they're toasty. So... <laughs> I have to say, I thought Lisa Vanderpump was rather nice. She's very lovely. It's yeah. nice of you to have apologized. That's really nice of you. Did I apologize? Yeah, you're a good man. Sure you did. Sure you did. Well, good for me for yeah, apologizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't mean any, anything by it. Just, you know, Vanderpump sounds a bit like a penis enlargement yeah, device. Yeah, of course. But I think she was teasing me when she said, oh, what does it look like? Implying that I needed a penis enlargement advice. <laughs> Which, of course, if I did, I wouldn't b bring it up. And I know for a fact that you don't need one. <laughs> oh, grow up. Well, I think tonight's show was sort of... So, not like any other late-night talk show? No. Not like any other...